I'm on the back side of my truck and today I'm going to change this uh, torsion bar. I didn't know what the thing was called. Sounds familiar but I'd forgotten. And uh, my last video I mentioned uh, that I was going to be doing this on this axle and another one on the cab, underneath the cab. Here's the part here. But a whole bunch of uh, viewers commented that it's a torsion bar. Some of them may have looked at the other comments and said, oh yeah, that's what it is, I'll comment too. Well, thanks you guys. Uh, I don't think I'll ever forget it now. So we're going to go ahead and change this and the camera is not going to be in my hand this time and it's not going to be on a regular tripod. I finally got my my old camera cart with the boom uh, camera boom on it. I finally got that thing back working again. It was buried in the garage and stuff piled all over it and I couldn't use it. But uh, this is how I like to do the videos because I've got a the cameras in my hand right now so you're not seeing what's on there on the screen because these wires got to be plugged into the camera but that little TV screen in there or monitor is what I uh, can see when I'm out here okay I got my airbags full and um, truck is up and I see a potential problem right down here this bolt goes in at an angle and it's going to come out and hit the frame so I might not sure if I'm going to or not but I might lower the airbags let the air I'll dump you know the dump valve the frame will go down and then this will have room to come out inside of the frame if I need to do that I can do that uh, and as you can see this one is mounted at an angle and so is the new one on that side the other side straight this side straight down here straight so I'm going to go on ahead there's no point in videotaping all of it um, I'm just going to go ahead and take these out hang a, a wrench on the back side and put an impact on this side and just knock those off of there These are 15 16 size on both sides. I'm going to put a little spray on the threads. On both of those and uh, on the other side too. And then um, one thing I want to mention, there are shims back behind this that are for the alignment of how far uh, this axle is left or right. quarter air wrench out for that. Well I got it broke loose and that's with a, a three foot breaker bar and um, the first socket it just broke right here two places. I didn't use an air wrench on it just the breaker bar and uh, I don't know how much I'm going to guess three feet. I'm going to guess I was pushing maybe 150 pounds. So 150 times three is 450 pounds at least is what it took to break that, that loose. This half inch Milwaukee impact claims to develop up to 1400 foot pounds. Well I knew that was never true because a half inch would never be able to handle uh, 1,400 foot-pounds. But it's still a, a very good wrench, and I like it. But uh, I think it, I probably needed nearly twice the power that it has. 
to break that loose. And I, that's both of these I got. I still got to do the other side. I had a little trouble trying to get a socket on on this because of these bushings coming out, and uh, I just took the old sawzall here and uh, trimmed that rubber off the bushings so I can get a socket on there and bust those loose. I got a wrench in there and uh, blocked inside the frame here. Impact should get it off now. I got this side over here on the right out. Got that pin out of there. Actually, the pin's sitting up here because the bushing is gone. But I can't pull the bar up far enough to get it off here because uh, this bolt moves, but this one is seized. And I'm going to use a uh, a copper hammer. This is a, a hammer with a steel weight here, but it's got copper on the ends because that's a lot less likely to mushroom the threads on that. I'm gonna knock, try to knock that bolt loose there. Not yet. May have to do something else with that. Hope I don't have to heat it up, but I might have to. Got that old one off of there. I did get this back. I put a, a nut on it and then knocked it down some more. Put some more spray in there, knocked it down some more, took the nut off and knocked it all the way out. So I did not have to heat it up. Now I'm putting the new one in. Well, I think this differential rocked back a little bit and changed the angle. And I think if I uh, let the air out of the bags, that it'll rock forward again. I'm going to take a shot at that. This bolt went back. Finally got it in there.
get one is done. Now I got another one I got to do that's on the, it goes underneath the cab. And it is sitting on the step over there. And it goes underneath the cab. Uh, just a couple of feet in from the back here, there's one that goes in there I got to change. I'll make another video. This video is getting too long. One last thing to check is uh, the alignment as far as whether or not you need shims over here. And the way I do that is I look at the sidewalls. The front sidewall, I can do it either in between the tires or do it on the outside, wherever your light is better. And uh, I look at the front sidewall and I just line up the back of the sidewall, like what I'm looking at right here, is I line up this part of the sidewall with this part and when they both when they both are even with each other when I'm back here looking at them from here and then I want to see if they're if they're also even with the, the tire in front with the uh, the front and back of the sidewall if, if I'm even with those up there I want a straight line between both of them right now I'm not getting it uh, when I lined up the sidewalls the front and back of the front axle then this one is over to my left I mean to my right about a, nearly a quarter inch at least an eighth of an inch when I do the same thing on this side line these up I don't even see the front tire I gotta look over the top a little bit line up the front and back of the sidewall on the front tire up there and I can see this one sticking out nearly a quarter inch so what this thing really needs it needs some more shims in here to push this out it's not going to affect the driving at all but it uh, it's just not quite right so this should be out I'm not going to do it because it's a it's an old truck over a one and a half million miles and I drive local with it and I just haul real short haul so no one will ever know that but you and me that this does need a couple of shims in here push this out oh probably three sixteenths of an inch but I'm not going to do it but if I wanted it perfect if it was a later model truck and, and it was a pay job someone was paying me to do it I would put some shims in there